everybody welcome back to cards by the hill my name is jane hill so something a little different i've got this canvas out of the charity shop to take you up a bit and i thought i'd use it to make uh, a piece of wall art i've got this gesso here from studio acrylics and to start with just going to cover it in gesso it's probably going to need a few coats Do to stir that. Let's get my skewer. Now, of course, you don't have to use gesso. You can cover it in um, paper of any description that you like. first coat going on and I think it was something like 30p or something and obviously it already had a picture on it but I'm going to do away with that As I said, it's probably going to need a couple of coats. So what I'll do is any any extra coats I'll do off screen. So then we can come back and carry on. And it's always good to have a little cheeky look in a charity shop for canvases and craft projects that haven't been finished and more often than not they'll let you have them cheaper than they're priced up for so yeah quick go round once Do this top edge and then of course I'll leave it to dry and give it as many coats as it needs okay all right so here it is and all I've done is put three coats of gesso on it and some acrylic white paint because it was obviously decorated in black um, print which was difficult to cover up so that's why I've gone over with the acrylic paint I did try some Dawn Bibby Designs pink sparkle shimmer spritz but I wasn't over keen on it so I don't know not sure right now so I want to add a staircase to it I'm not sure whether we're going to use the whole thing obviously I've bought it already um, whitewashed and they've sanded it in various places to make it look aged so i don't know when 
whether we're going to use the whole thing. And I also want to add a fireplace to it. I might have to move some things so you can see the whole design. So that's the little fireplace and that's done in mould, clay mould and bought it like that. And then we've got the staircase. Now I might I might chop it off there. So I've just got one piece of it. I'm gonna add a couple of frames. And I want the staircase to go up to a door. I am going to break off this piece of the stair because I only want that section Blade. Need to cut this off. Do not do this at home. Certainly not towards you. We can do away with that bit. Right now, I'm going to paint it in acrylic properly, and then use a piece of sandpaper. obviously got to dry I promise you I'll have a clean up and uh, it'll be a lot nicer to look at while we're doing this project right so that's that bit then we've got the fireplace not sure where that where we're going with that yet two frames 
right so here it is back all dried now i did try the dawn bibby designs pink sparkle shimmer spritz again but as you can see there's not much of a shimmer going on so i've decided against that what i'm gonna do is anna griffin pages and i'm going to use them as if they're wallpaper and then I'm going to add a border in the middle, something like this, so it looks like wallpaper, okay? So I'm going to get that on, the stairs are still drying, get the uh, border on, okay and then it's going to look like the background in a room hopefully so let me do all that and then i'll come back all right so this is it so far so we've got the striped paper at the top plain paper at the bottom and then i've put this border in as uh, a divider between the two hopefully it looks like a wall now the divider I bought from Amazon some time ago. It's all unraveled. But it comes on a roll and you can peel it back and stick it on and it's transparent. It's really, really pretty. Um, it doesn't say what company made it, unfortunately. But as I say, you can find it on Amazon if they've still got it it was a while ago now then the stairs are dry so we can do something with those and the stairs are going to go on the right hand side here i know you can't see it i've really got to make some space for this project so they're going to go on the right hand side there the little uh, fireplace is going to go there. I might add a mirror above the fireplace. Oh, I might put the stairs up higher, actually. We'll see. Um, so I've got some work to do on the fireplace. What a difference between how it looked before. Right, so we've got these edges, obviously. And then, of course, we've got the frames. I might get another frame out because two's a bit sparse there. We're going to need one over there. So we're going to need three frames. We've got the fireplace, the stairs. We've got other bits to add to it. Okay, so what I'm doing now is going down the staircase with some Art Deco paper. And I'm just using Nouveau to glue it on. If it doesn't stick, then I'll change to hot glue. I've got this piece, you would have seen this pad before in my projects. It's the Modern Deco by Doe Crafts Paper Mania Pack. 50 sheets, really lovely pack. If you can get hold of it. And these staircases I bought from eBay. A seller on eBay handmade them. But of course you can get them from dolls houses and Playmobil. I've got a couple from there. All sorts. So don't be disheartened if you think they're hard to get hold of. Because they're not. Using cocktail sticks. Okay. 
And what I want to do is add two balls to the end. Right, so here where we're at so far, I've painted the fireplace twice. Might have to give it a final coat, not sure yet. And then with the stairs, I've gone down with the paper. I had to redo it because it wasn't long enough. So I've gone down with the paper. I've got a mark here, but we'll cover that with something. And I've done the edging in gold and the railings in gold. And I've also made another pole for this bit that's missing here. Might have to cut that out a little bit more. So that can go in there. And all that was, was one of those cocktail sticks that I use, cocktail stir stirrers. Cut it in half and use this part for the end rail. So I might just touch it up a little bit more with the gold and then attach that with some hot glue. That'll be that. And then what I want to do on the edging is some of my wonderful cream braid again. And I might just do a rope going down the stairs. I'm not sure yet how it will work, if it will work. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure it'll work. I think they're a bit close together. don't think it'll work on the inside either. But I'll have a look at that and see what I do with it. So I've got to touch up some of the gold here and there again. And this gold was, um, you've seen it plenty of times. One that I bought out at the pound shop. It's metallic bronze. I had a few of them, so I'm using them on this project. And then we're going to use some beads to make little vases with flowers and, you know, all sorts of bits and pieces. We're going to put some things on top of the fireplace. We'll actually, hopefully, get it on the board today. And then I've dug out these... These little um, kitchen bits that I bought as a pack. And I think I might make some use of some of these. Got like a little tray. Might put on top of the fireplace. They're just for dolls' houses, but obviously you can use them for craft projects so yeah might do some of that uh, and I painted a bird cage a wooden one in gold there's a lot of gold going on all of a sudden painted a wooden bird cage and of course that's going to go on there with a little bird behind it. So got to do that as well. My gold paint is still usable by the look of it. So I'm going to crack on and finish these stairs off. What I want to do on the top step is put a piece of material. So I need to find a piece that will fit there nicely. So I'll get that done. But obviously... You can do the stairs in whatever colour you like. You know I originally had them white. Uh, and then I went off the idea, so now they're gold. I have to say, for the 
amount of crafting I'm doing now, I'm getting a lot more steady with my painting. Never used to be. I mean, is that a thing? I suppose it is when you, the more you do it, the better it gets. So yeah, so yeah, as you can see, it's a lot better once it's had a two or three coats. I mean, it is obviously only cheap paint, but nonetheless, it's good enough for projects. She's good. I think this will be the last coat. Thank goodness, as it starts getting a little bit gungy, as you can see in the pot there, it starts getting a little bit too thick. I think that side's come out really well. The side with the railings is obviously a little bit difficult to get around touch up the fireplace and I've got to find something for this top step If we're going to do the um, the little bits out of the pack here, they're all going to need painting. Right, so that's that. Oh, and I've got to add the stair rods as well. Don't forget. Got to wait till it dries now. But the stair rods are going across like that with the... Uh, balls either side so they look like stair rods so that can go to dry now so i'll attach the um the bottom post just needs a little touch up on there finish off the fireplace And I mean, if you've got extra paint left over, you might as well just give it an extra coat. Won't do no harm. I started off with a little bit of gold and then it's just gone, everything's gone gold. Okay, only needed it here and there on the fireplace. Right, let that dry. So, hopefully when I come back, the stair rods will be on, the bottom post will be on. I 
uh, the top step will be covered and I might actually do the rope. So let me just do some of that off screen and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is where we're up to now. I've had to move it to the side of the craft room so you can see it properly. So I've got the stairs on. There we go. Put the stair rods on. Piece of matting at the bottom, at the top. Finish the stair rail. I didn't go with the rope because I didn't think it would work properly, so I left that out. Um, and then we've got the fireplace. And I've added little flowers inside, two beads to make them look like vases. So the fireplace is on. And then up the top, We've got the chandelier inside a frame, painted it in gold to match. The chandelier did not work, stamped straight onto the board, um, which I had a fear it wouldn't. So I stamped it onto card and then I've just gone in with detail around with gems just to add a little bit of something to it. Okay, so that's where we're up to so far. Now I've dug out these little books that I've got in the stash. I've got three here. This one says witches spell a day. So we're not going to use that one. Because that's for another project anyway. But we'll use the other two. And what I want to do is just glue them onto the um fireplace don't know how much you're going to be able to see all right so i want to glue these two books onto the um fireplace here lean them up against the um plant pots and we'll have to make some books at some point. So that one's just going to stick against the pot. Should have given it a little bit more. There we go, like that. And then this one here, just going to put at an angle. So let's see where we Okay, I'm sure we'd be able to make some. They're literally piece of uh, material. I bought these ones, but I'm sure we could make them. Piece of material with some paper inside and just a uh, little cut out on the front there so I'm sure we can make some uh, okay I think the best way to do it is glue it this side like that there we go I glued the roses into the pot there just some mulberry roses I did have one laying around which I was going to put on the fireplace as well so what I'm going to do is cut that down and put a single stem rose on the fireplace Yeah, so I'm just going to glue that by the petal there. Like that. Okay, so that's the top of the fireplace. Above that, we're going to have the birdcage. 
but I want to put a bird behind it. So we've got to do that. And then I've got another two frames to go either side the top there. I just used some gems, diamond sparkle gems from Hunky Dory to do the uh, crystal lampshade, chandelier. I've got a couple of gates, which I'm not sure to go above the staircase or over the back here. I'm not sure what we're going to do there. I'll have a think. Uh, just wanted to update you so far about where it's going. And then on the staircase, move it over tad i want to put another vase these are just china beads i'm sure they're china yeah um that bought off ebay in a little bundle and of course you can use them as flower pots and projects like this i've got a few different ones got some round ones and I mean you just stick a, a flower in them I mean, obviously you need to cut it down and you've got a pot now what I want to do on the staircase is add some bits and pieces uh, I might add another rose on the stair somewhere just as if it's fallen off um, and I have got, I showed you these um, white doll's house pieces, which you could add here and there. I've also got some clear ones and I wanted to do this champagne bottle and a flute on the stairs really. I've got that mark that I need to cover up. I didn't want to have to do the stairs again because I'd already done them twice. Uh, but it needs to be f f sort of fallen down. And then of course the glass. Not sure how much that looks like champagne glass really. Or could use a cork. I do have some corks. So let's have a look at what I've got in the stash and then I'll show you what I've done okay so if you want to head over to part two you'll be able to see the second part of the video um, I cannot tell you how long the video is so far it's been days worth of work unexpectedly and I've narrowed it down to the 35 minutes on the first video and then whatever's on the second and then we'll do a third video of a complete look at it okay then so head over to part two as I'm doing all my videos thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed please do so thank you for your likes and your comments keep them coming love your comments and i'll see you on the next one bye